everyone, um, so I am Emma and I am a mental wellbeing practitioner here for Minds Matter Service and today I just wanted to share with you um, my own tips um, around kind of helping keep us well during this really strange time of lockdown and coronavirus um, and things that we can kind of do for ourselves to kind of just boost our positive mental wellbeing. Um, so I created um, my own kind of well-being toolbox um, and by that I mean I physically have a box of things in it that make me feel good which I know are instantly going to make me feel better um, and a really good thing about having this is that I don't have to think about what would make me feel better especially in times when I'm not feeling okay or when I'm feeling really down and it's a really quick go-to so that I can just go to it and go yeah okay today I fancy doing that and I know it's going to instantly make me feel better. It doesn't have to come in a form like this, you can create your own on your phone, on your notes, you can even just create a list and stick it on the kitchen cupboard or on the fridge, just somewhere where you know it's really easily accessible where you can see things that are going to make you feel better and you don't have to think about them especially in those times when we're feeling a bit rubbish. So I want to share the ones that I've got uh, for myself personally. Obviously yours may be really different, um, but I've tried to also put mine in those categories that we go through in the five ways to well-being. So connect, take notice, be active, give and keep learning. Um, so I've got kind of a couple of things from each one which I just want to share with you. Um, so the first thing is... Um, Connecting. So with connecting, I make sure that I keep um, up to date with my mum. I ring her quite a lot. We have video calls all the time. Um, and I keep up with my friends. I do that kind of via video calls. Um, but also kind of meeting up on walks and things like that. So making sure that I connect with other people. Take notice of kind of how I am feeling. And I do this by noticing that if I'm feeling a little bit stressed or if I need some time out to kind of get away from my thoughts um, I bought myself some activities to get me distracted from that but these activities are really enjoyable so I've got a couple of like mindfulness kind of activities here so I've got sort of like an anti-stress dot to dot which is fantastic so all you have to do is just find numbers and um, I also try to make sure that I'm learning something new quite a lot of the time so at the moment I'm learning knitting, um, I'm not sure how well it's going but I got myself some knitting needles and I've got a nice little book as well so where I can learn and teach myself how to knit which is a challenge um, but it is good fun at the same time um, so it's important to kind of like keep ourselves learning and just looking at different things a lot. Keep active and I keep active by going on walks, um, I see I've got my trainers here, but I go I go, try and go for a walk at least uh, maybe five times a week, it doesn't even have to be that much, but just getting outside in that fresh air is really lovely, and especially at the weekend, maybe exploring like a different part, um, so not always doing local walks, but um, going to the peaks or something like that, um, I really love to go walking and just go and see different places. Uh, the last one is kind of give um, and kind of give to myself so I make sure I do like quite a lot of self-care activities to be honest. Um, I've got loads of things which make me instantly feel better so um, I love musicals so I have a whole selection of musicals ready to go on DVD so I can just grab them um, and just sit on the sofa and really enjoy the music and I've got a playlist as well so um, I often will go for a walk and listen to uh, musicals or I'll even put musicals in the house really loud um, and I just have a bit of a sing and a bit of a dance really which I absolutely love in my week is I have a pamper session um, and my pamper session looks like bath bombs and face masks um, so these were just some examples of things that you can do to kind of have like straight away like in this kind of box like your own well-being toolbox um, but it's just finding these things that we really enjoy which are really quick um, for us to kind of access and go go to especially when we're feeling really low um, and so I hope that is helpful for you um, and if it has been then get yourself a little list or get yourself a new box and put things in there that make you feel good um, and that can be one way to help you towards your positive mental well-being journey.